Hello everyone, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we will be talking about the alimentary canal. In this particular video, we will be discussing about the teeth, which is a very common part of the alimentary canal. We all have heard about teeth. Now let us talk about some of the detail of teeth. Teeth, these are present inside the oral or the mouth cavity. This is present along with a muscular structure which is known as the tongue. The tongue, it actually helps in mixing the food with saliva which has got digestive enzymes. Also because of the presence of tongue, we can taste different types of food. In case of human meats particularly, the teeth we are talking about, they are very strongly embedded inside the socket or the jaw bone which is present inside the oral cavity. Since it is present inside the oral cavity and it is embedded inside the socket of the jaw bone, this type of arrangement is known as the thicodont type of teeth. Now, particularly in case of mammals, mammals have two sets of teeth which come out during their whole lifetime. What are the two sets? The first is known as the milk teeth. This is also known as the temporary teeth and also called the deciduous teeth. Why? Because these are the teeth which are temporary, they fall off and they are then replaced by the permanent teeth. This is these teeth are type of teeth are also known as the adult teeth. So these remain for few years in a lifetime and after that they are replaced by the permanent type of teeth. In case of human beings, since they have got two sets of teeth, this type of arrangement or the arising of two sets of teeth in a particular lifetime of the human beings, this type is known as the diphyodont type of teeth. Now let us look into a particular structure or the buccal cavity. So this, this is the upper jaw, this is the lower jaw. In a typical human being, an adult human being has got 32 permanent teeth. Like after the milk teeth, the total number of teeth that is permanent which arises is 32. There are four types of teeth that is present in a typical human being. What are these? The first type is known as the incisor. It has been leveled over here. So there are two incisors that you can see over here. These are the teeth which mostly is used for cutting, right? This is followed by the teeth known as the canines. Canines are very sharp edge teeth and these are mostly used for tearing of flesh. Followed by the premolars, you can see there are two premolars as labeled over here. The premolars are used to break down uh, hard substances, hard food materials into smaller particles. Followed by molars, they also have the similar type of function that of premolars, but they can grind the various hard substances into very, very smaller particles. So there are four sets of four types of teeth in human beings. These are incisors, canines, premolars and the molars. Now, how will we represent the teeth that is present in a particular organism or a human being? So this representation or the representation of the arrangement of various types of teeth inside a particular organism is known as the dental formula. So this is basically a process of representation of the arrangement of different types of teeth inside the buccal cavity. So according to dental formula, these are abbreviated as I, C, P, M and M that is incisors, canines, premolars and molars and they are always represented in this order that is incisors followed by canines followed by premolars and at the last the molars. Now for a human being, the dental formula is this 2, 1, 2, 3 by 2, 1, 2, 3. So what does this represent? The above part of this fraction represents the one half of the upper jaw and the lower part represents the half part of the lower jaw, right? So you can see over here, there are two incisors. So the first one is the incisor. There are two incisors. You can see over here, followed by one canine, followed by two premolars and the last three molars. Similar type of a copy or the teeth are present in the lower half of the jaw also. It is two incisors, one canine, two premolars and three molars. So this sums to eight, this also eight and if we double it, it will become 32. So there are 32 permanent teeth in human beings. Now let us take a look on the basic structure of a teeth. You can see a representation of the structure of the teeth. The teeth mostly has three important parts. The crown, this is the neck and this is the root region. The crown region, this is the part which is mostly visible from outside, the white part. And this white part has is made by this important material which is known as the enamel. Enamel is the most strongest material 
or substance that is present inside a human being. It is whitish in color and it is very strong glittering in color, right? So this enamel gives the strength of the teeth, right? This is followed by the neck. Neck is actually present in an area which is covered by the gum, right? Or this gum, this is uh, the muscular area which actually holds the teeth. Followed by the root, this is embedded inside the jaw socket because of which we call this as a thicker down type of teeth in case of human beings. You can see this is embedded inside the jaw bone. So these are the bones, the root part is embedded inside. So here you can see this is the gum portion where the neck is lying and this is the enamel. So interestingly we can see the blood supply is just still here, the pulp. This reddish portion, this is called the dentine, which is present just below beneath the enamel. So after the dentine, the, there is supply of blood and lymph, as you can see over here. So these are the blood vessels and the nerves have gone inside through the root area. So this is the basic structure of a teeth and it has got three important regions. The outermost region, the crown, which has got enamel. The middle portion, which is the neck, which is covered by the muscular structures called gum and followed by the root which is embedded inside the socket bone that is present inside the mouth. Now let us talk about some of the general functions of the teeth. These are, they help in mastication of the food. So what do you mean by mastication? This means breaking down of complex food materials into very smaller parts and this is actually aided by the presence of enamel because we have already discussed that enamel, this is the strongest part of our body. So because of this, this is the strongest and hardest part of our body. So enamel actually helps in mastication of the food or breaking down food into smaller particles. This mastication is also aided by the jaw muscles. Because of the jaw muscles, the movement of the teeth is possible. So in this video, we have talked about the teeth. We have talked about the functions of the teeth. We have talked about the various structures of the teeth and the representation of the dental formula, how to represent the various types of teeth and their functions. So I hope you have understood and liked this video. Thank you.